What's up guys, Jordan 95 Gaming here and welcome to the next episode of The Young Stars. Now this week we have James Ward-Prowse, a very talented English midfielder and uh, with a big future ahead of him, no doubt. Uh, thanks for all your support recently on the videos guys, I really appreciate it and um, I'd also like your questions for my 50 subscriber special which I haven't hit yet but I'm soon to hopefully and I'd like your questions below for a Q&A. So guys, James Ward Price, the team I put around him is just a cheap BPL team, uh, Kasper Schmeichel in goal, a very good goalkeeper. A lot of these players I used because they were very cheap and obviously also they, um, they're very good players on the game and for the price I don't think you can go wrong. Right back we have Cedric, a very very good right back on this game, one of the, my favourite non-rare right backs to use, especially in the BPL and um, yeah I, he has had a good season in real life too for Southampton and uh, yeah he's a very good all round player. Next to him we have Johnny Evans, one of my favourite uh, non-rare centre backs on the game if not my favourite, he, he's so good, I, I would highly recommend before the game's out guys, before the next FIFA comes out, that you guys check him out, because he's quality, alongside Kevin Vimmer, who's one of my favourite left sided ones, him or Rojo I really like in the BPL for the cheap ones, but he's a non rare and he is world class on this game and I recommend you go pick him up guys, you can't really go wrong for the price. Left back Ryan Bertrand, I had him in my first ever BPL squad this year on FIFA and uh, Ryan Bertrand is quality in real life and on the game. Uh, highly recommend you go pick him up with his stats, I mean you look at his defensive and attacking stats, they're very impressive. At Cam we have Whammy Kazri, who I have tried out before and I really really enjoyed guys, I, another player I'd highly recommend you go and pick up because he is really really good and his free kicks and his set pieces are quality and uh, he's got decent shooting as well I do believe in, in the in game and he's had a very good season in real life for Sunderland. The next player to him we have Michael Carrick, very very underrated on this game as he is in real life. Quality passing, he's got very good interceptions on foothead I've had the look. Uh, he doesn't score many goals, he doesn't get forward much but he does the job. Right mid we have Antonio Valencia the machine, again a player that would people would be put off by his shooting but he scores a lot of goals for me and he's so powerful, I, I love Antonio Valencia. And uh, up, well on the uh, other side guys we have so Human Son, again a player that I genuinely don't know why so many people don't use him. I love using him in different teams, like I like his nation, I like using Korean players and um, he's very very good for sticking in hybrids or BPL teams. And up top guys I went for Solomon Rondon, when I was doing this video guys I would not used him before, now I obviously have and I can tell you he is really really good. Uh, I've never used him before so I wanted to use someone different up top and I went for Solomon Rondon. So guys, James Ward-Prowse himself was a very, very good player on this game and uh, again a very good set piece taker as he is in real life with his free kicks and his corners. And he was a big threat for me um, in the opposition box too, he get, got full quite a lot. And um, these are just a few like stats about, well information about James Ward-Prowse, obviously he's 21 years of age plays for the young England under 21s he also did score for the England under 21s yesterday as recording this video guys so this this video will be out on the Wednesday so it would have been the Monday um, and these are just some of his career stats obviously he's been at Southampton all his career bought up through the youth system there the quality youth system that's produced the likes of um, Theo Walcott, Luke Shaw and Morgan Schneiderlin obviously so guys, as you'll see from the clips that I did manage to get with him, he's a very neat and tidy player. He was he was very he was also quite threatening in the opposition box as I mentioned. He did get forward quite a bit and provided a good like good pace in the engine room. His stats don't look the best if I'm being honest, but as I say, he he did provide a lot more than what I was expecting 
to, for him to provide and he also as you will see in a minute guys along with his brilliant passing has a finishing ability so guys i hope you enjoyed and um thanks for watching and i'll see you soon guys bye